Иван. Welcome to Matt's Inferno. Yep, I'm doing it. Everyone else is too cowardly, so I might as well stand up and say to the devil, no, you will not win and I will beat you. I'm just uh, putting it out there. This is going to be, um, I want to say, a edited LP. There's sections in Dante's Inferno that are, are not as good as others. There's the Trials of St. Lucia, which is also not good. The ass kicker room. Oh my god, this game. It's so 2010. So here's our resident edgelord, Dante. Doing what edgelords do, which is punish themselves. Uh, so he's stitching this. It was hard to, like, it's a bad design in the sense that unless you watch this cutscene and play the game, it was hard to be like, wait, what the fuck is he doing? He's stitching this piece of cloth onto his chest, like... A, a crucifix because he's Dante um, we're also gonna do a lot of special things during this LP like have a boob count uh, maybe have a devil dick count I don't know we're also gonna absolve or punish many souls and here's my first beef with this game is that I hate these animated cutscenes I think they look so cheap compared to the really gorgeous FMVs they have I can talk over this shit because we're going to see this tons. Um, but basically the prisoners escape. Somehow, it's unclear. Dante is staring at nothing. So Dante just killed like 50 million people, right? Did you not see that coming? It's such a lame way for him to just die out of nowhere. And it's a lame justification for death to instantly appear. Dante, your fate is decided. Everlasting damnation for your sins. What? But that's not possible. The bishop has shown us. us. Come, face eternity. Soon you'll be joined by those whose lives you have I hate this death design. I think it's lame as shit. I don't, I don't know what it is. I will not let my sins damn. Oh, you want to redeem yourself now that you know you're being sent to hell, huh? I will redeem myself. Mortal, you are mine. So death is like, I guess I have to throw down with this random soldier. Um, because we have to make some type of story contrivance about how Dante could possibly kill all of hell. Yeah. Yeah, 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 work that shaft, Dante. Uh, so that's just a little bit of a taster, cause cause death is. Oh no, this random dude is fucking chopping him up with my own scythe. Yeah. No. And the fact that this death starts begging for its life is just ridiculous to me. It's just trying to get Dante over as this unstoppable badass that's doing the impossible. And while he is, he also isn't. That's a metal way to die. Um, and while we don't explicitly say it's one of the fractured pieces of narrative of Dante's Inferno, that was actually Dante's dad that was dead on the floor, but you wouldn't really know that, would you? And here's our first booby count. Daisy, thank you very much for covering that up in whatever way you deem possible. She had on that Sephora lip gloss. What's this? A fart escaping from her mouth? I told him you would come through. Ghost titties! 
So instantly the fucking devil is already here claiming Beatrice. It's so ludicrous how fast-paced and Michael bay -y this is. Beatrice! I have to go with him, my love. I gave my word. And the devil is just like noob sabat, I guess. So we're gonna get Beatrice! to another really weird part. Beatrice! But there's our Beatrice. Uh, she has a random sword stuck in her. We have no idea as of yet who has done this heinous crime as I go through my Devil May Cry shit in front of her. Uh, and this is where the game really starts playing loose. So let's just break in and when she's doing her business, Beatrice. Yep, titties number two. Why, Dante? Why did you break your promise? I don't understand. Yeah, neither do I, buddy. So, so the devil then brings her to this random church and leaves the imprint of of this cross, which just so happens... The beast has turned me back. Help me before my pulse and veins tremble. Oh, my nipples! If I, when I, when me and Crime Tina been doing the nasty, we usually hold our crucifixes to us real close. Because I know you will be faithful to our love. Mercenaries of Florentina, in payment for taking the cross to reclaim the Holy Land, your immaculate father hereby absolves you of all your... It just works like that. Yeah, it's all gone. These cutscenes move so fast and they just cut back to the gameplay, but this shot is really nice. But I guess hell and demons were right under the church. Oh Jesus, Jesus, watch out! Work the pole, Dante! We'll never afford that upstate mansion in Italy unless you work that pole, son. Have pity on me, whatever you <laughs> I say that to a lot of people. I prayed for her to command me. Beatrice. I fear my friend has gone astray, she said. Oh, we're just oh, friends, eh? Virgil. Boobies number three. Hey, Virgil, what's up? You're wearing your trilby? Now we're gonna have a really random cutscene. I vow to forsake all pleasures of the flesh till I return from this noble crusade. I gave myself to you because I know you will be faithful to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, so random. Boobies number four. <laughs> you should have been true to this sweet young thing. Instead, it's me who gets the prize. Let her go. So this is dialogue that Visceral written. I belong to him now. You've only yourself to blame, holy warrior. Your immaculate father hereby absolves you of all your sin. Even that thing you did in Vegas. Uh, maybe doing enough holy. There we have our magic attack. Which is weird that it's ice. I don't know why it's ice, because basically... Sort of the four elements are kind of at play in in our magic, but not really It's kind of strange. It's almost as if Visceral didn't know what they were doing and just kind of were like yeah ice and uh, sex and um, uh, Apple seeds I don't know We're making this up as we go along Which they were but first we're gonna give Charon a splitting headache This is one of the cooler moments I was talking about earlier. Looks like we're going to have to throw! Um, so of course, Visceral, very famous for recording their That's own really children. Who this? This is Electra, killed her mother to avenge her father's wrongful death. She suffers her punishment, which is known, which is, which is to know finally the wrath of God. Okay, you killed your mom, so maybe let's just leave it at that. And you also had that awful basketball scene with Daredevil. Who is on it here? Hector, Caesar, King Latinus, Camilla. I cannot give full account. 
So if you don't believe in God, but you're like a superhero, you still get sent to hell. Really fair. Like Hector, Hector, he gets sent to hell because he's a pagan. Whatever, Virgil, fuck off. Uh, so like I alluded to before, this is our first proper boss fight, and it's, it's a pretty good one, all things considered. So everyone just kind of waits there. He sniffs their assholes. They get sent on this edgelord reel and they go down to edgelord town. Oh! Oh! Man, now Kimino's has a splitting headache. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh. Let's work that pole, son! So now we're entering Lust, which is a joke of a section of the game. Like, I don't know what they thought they were going to do, but how about they do just, you know, uh, let's say a giant penis tower. Yeah, this is a real thing. We're going to soon have titties number five and six and seven. Looking for someone? Any guesses? Anybody out there want to say who they think that is? Angelina Jolie, maybe. There you go. See, the inside of the snake mouth is a vagina. Because we're in lust. Beatrice. So here's Beatrice's new awful look. She's not serving looks. She's being served looks. It's... I'm glad, like, there's not any, like, boobies constantly here, so I have to edit them out. But I am unglad I got a big case of the terribles when I fucking look at that awful design. Oh, there she is. Look at this shit. Because that's, that's what that is. Just burninate her until she gets sick of it. She can't handle fire. Which is weird considering she's in hell. All right, Miss Cleo, what you got? Why? That's so horrible. Crimtina would be screaming at that. Don't do this. Because of you, I must. N I no. Anything to cause this. But you did tons. But you did cause this. Let me refresh your memory. Look into your beloved's eyes. Dante. Why? Why is your hair like that? Why do you look like Seymour from FF10? Dante. Look. I don't wanna though. Beatrice. Movie's number seven. We have an arrangement. I know, brute. Guards, release this one. And her brother. You broke your promise. You don't know what it was like. But she does know what it was like. I showed her. Oh, okay. Beatrice, don't. No, just I don't, no though. Choice. But don't, though. So this random bed is here. And then, uh, big, big, big mama shows up. So your girl left you for Lucifer. My faults are mine. But she doesn't deserve this. I have to set things right. Give up the little bitch, Dante. Jeez. Once this dirty business is complete. And Lucifer's way home is reopened. Her part in this play will seem so small. I don't understand. Of course you don't. <laughs> you just gave up the keys to the kingdom. And for what? The tits of a slave girl. Damn you! They were great! And now to give Lucifer the time he needs. She's literally saying I'm stalling you. Yeah, I don't really care for that. No, Anthony. You said we would be together. For I don't get his design. Anthony. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to end like this. You're in hell. Yes. 
So now we get this weird QTE. You have to sort of resist her lust. Boobies number eight. Master, we're just cat girls. Master, master. No, no, that's not right to do. Oh, you get it? Penetrate good times. Come on. Gluttony, really? Is that that bad of a sin? I mean, I'm a fat guy, but still. So Cerberus is a really weird fucking design. Uh, it's one of the ones I attribute to Wayne Barlow. Like, look at that. It's just odd in that Silent Hill way where it just doesn't look quite right. Versus like, oh, uh, hoof demons with horns. That's hell, right? Um, so yeah, it's one of the stronger designs in the game. It's not an amazing boss fight, but I mean, it's fine. Because there's these guys, because gluttony, get it? So that's it for Cerberus, really. That's it for Cerberus, believe me. That's it for Cerberus. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Got Jesus on my necklace! So, of what course, Dante doing? just made you a priest. became a glutton and then became a child. We're going down, down into the anger i want to say where are we going i need virgil to let me know where we're going if fucking jesus can't protect me then virgil has to protect me him and his trilby look there's greed father father take it take it all so did you know that dante's father was a huge shit bag it's not me. my problem. Put it on the monsters tab. Yes, I will gorge myself. Look at look at evil Dante, evil baby kid Dante. That shit is so lame. So let's do this. I don't know if I'm in the best shape to do this right now. A bunch of jumping puzzles, or whatever. There's gold that I just fucking kill myself in. Yeah, we're doing it. Remember, everyone, Wooly was too cowardly to do this LP with me. Was too scared. But she got bitch. Agestius Loris, Roman persecutor of Judea, infamous for the public greed, splitting and pairing of innocent men for his own personal gain. I don't know. I'm thinking of pure ass punishment. I don't really understand his crimes but I feel like it's a good thing you vain fuck you is this a better action game than Asura's Wrath yes Max almost everything the shit I took last week is better than the action game that is Asura's Wrath oh and there's nothing you can say to deflect that it's another nothing boss fight look at those that's the best you could do with the chain textures huh yeah, Dad, you're hitting me with your giant cross, which I'd like to think is kind of weird for you to have in hell. I know it's the cross that that uh, an assassin stabbed you in the eyes with. I still find it weird that you're allowed to have that in, in hell. Because uh, you were, like, brought into hell, like, normally, whereas I'm, I'm a special case. There you go. Dad, you're so gross. Is that all you had to offer me? I'm not responsible for the man you are. Kinda are, are not a hundred percent. Why does he get to be absolved? I think it's the only way we can get shit. Look, I got my dad's gross old grandma medallion. Why is she dressed Let like that? through your soul. Give in to our union. And together. It's a little on the nose there, Satan. A little on the nose. What? Don't do it. 
I have to turn away from you so when it, this does something to me, I can dramatically turn back around. The faithful it's like the red seeds from Deadly faithful. Premonition. The incorruptible has become corrupted. The true innocent has given way to the sins of man. Like all the rest And now it gets, makes her an edgelord. That's all it does. Uh, she still looks stupid. This heresy, though, seems like utter bullshit. Like, what if you worship the spaghetti monster? Like, do you get sent here? That seems a little harsh. No? I don't know. I like the spaghetti monster. Wisdom of St. Lucia, your time here has come to an end. Go back the way you came from. Hey, we're, we realized we made a confusing thing, and in the test, uh, the test playthroughs where we invited kids in to play Dante's Inferno, everyone's like, what the fuck? What do I do? And we decided to put that message in. Why can't it be Virgil popping up to tell us? Ah, shit. Uh, you know, our guide, the in why invent St. Lucia for this section? And I know St. Lucia is like a DLC thing. It's like a second playable character or whatever. Um, but you'd think they'd just throw Virgil there to be like, Ho, oh, Dante, you have done a lamely designed puzzle. And you must venture backwards for reasons I cannot fathom. She got some Minotaur statues violence. Um, I actually don't remember a lot about this section of the game. I kind of forget what violence is all about. You know, you just you just gotta cure it, and then shout it out. What? Violence. I don't know the song. Why what? Why break me? Have you no pity? Mother. No. Oh shit. No. When the soul quits a body from which it has uprooted itself, Minos judges it to the seventh circle. There, it sprouts, shoots up like a sapling. No body, only the pain. For it is unjust that any soul possess that of which it has robbed itself. But you don't belong here, Mother. You died of the fever. Yeah. Oh wait, we gotta, we got yeah. Her heart just gave out from the fever. She was too fragile. So, our shit dad lied to us, because of course he did. <laughs> God, that's so jarring. I your father's cruelty, but I was too weak to defy him, and so I took my own life. You're going to have to go through trials, Dante, of different combos to release me. Brunetto Latini, philosopher and scholar of Florence and early mentor to young Dante, he suffers in the seven circle hell for the sin of sodomy. You, know, you enjoy the butts, man. Fuck that. Will you enjoy the butts and that's a betrayal to God? Get out of my face. Enough! 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 <laughs> no. It is not for us to decide the fate of these souls. What souls? That is why we fight. They are not us. Fight with me, Crusaders. Spill the blood. And what's happening us. here? There is no shame. The souls are already lost. There's the devil. You get it? He's the devil. Okay, so now I have to fight other Crusaders. You know, Dante gets a chance to redeem himself. You know, the guy that was screaming at the other soldiers to just kill, just believe me. Um, yeah, they, they, they have no chance to redeem himself, but, but Dante, he's special, you see. So what if you're responsible for several sins? What if you murdered? What if you ate a bunch of steak one time, did a huge burger challenge? And what if you lied to someone? Where do you go? Uh, how does Minos decide which is the most grievous of the sins? I guess if you, if, if you, like, treachered, if you traitored someone, that's the worst sin, apparently, so, um, you would go there. 
but but do you get do you have to go through the others at all? Do you just get to skip it, like like as if it's a grade in school? And it's, I don't even have to do third or fifth grade. I get to straight go straight to the sixth one. God in heaven. Richard the Lionheart Who don't like that shit. Take care of my sister. I am responsible. Hang him. Prepare to march tonight. When the noble Saladin learns of this. Is Richard dead? Is King Richard dead at this point? The forces of hell. I don't know. Maybe should he be in hell? I will protect you. So yeah, so yeah, uh Dante really betrayed. You condemned my yeah. brother to death for your crime. What is your answer for this? Treachery. None. I give. I like this part. Journey. My place is here in hell. Yours is in paradise. I am truly sorry for what I have done. May you one day forgive me. And that's all it takes, by the way. I guess all it takes is saying like. I didn't win. And just owning up to your mistakes. There's an angel! They look kind of cool! And though you may not understand it now, you have saved much more than this innocent soul. For your role in the ongoing battle is more important than you can possibly imagine. Yeah, I bet. I don't understand! <laughs> your redemption is near. Wait! I have to take care of her. I have come this far. Trust me. You will see Dialogue's her so again. bad here. Okay, so that that concludes treachery. It was really shit. Um but fortunately we have saved Beatrice. She's no longer the goal here, so I don't know why we're even continuing on this dumb quest. Frial Bergerio, traitor to family country, sits in the lowest circle of hell. He murdered his own son for the sake of revenge. That makes no sense. I belong to a holy order of yeah, your friars, I don't care how good your French fries or your chicken tendies are. Fry Albergio? I don't care if you're fucking Chef Boyardee. Yeah. No. No. That's a bad fryer. We. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just fucking do it. Just smash this shit up. You smash that shit up. And now we're fighting the devil. That's it. That's the that's the circle. It's fucking horseshit. Like this game starts off like kind of fun and goofy. There's middle parts of the game that are kind of like, ha ha, I get it, and whatever. And it's just the last section just drops the ball so hard. The last two rings of hell are just fucking shit. So Satan's this big fucking ghoul over here. This gobble ghoul. That's fine. That's Satan, sure, I'll accept that. You know what Satan hates? Shooting Jesus' fucking gang sign at him. Since so Satan rips up his own guts. What? Nani? Just for another Satan to appear. I gave my soul to free Beatrice, not you. Did you really think this was all about the girl? She this dialogue's so face. shit. Compare this free. to how Virgil talked. Only you and I remain. Come for me, holy warrior. Come, fulfill your destiny. So now you gotta fight a Satan again at the Lake Cocytus. So my health was refilled, so it didn't really matter there, everything that happened. He just came out of his Satan Mecca. And then he made you in his image. You This fucking speech is so lame, it's like a speech from Dogma. My gratitude for breaking the chains of Judeca. Behold your ruin, 
And witness my escape. This is like what someone Into says to you when you've won in a fighting game online. They send you like an instant message. Have a big time QTE. Watch out, left stick. Oh, left stick again. And then the X button, followed up by the B button. Good thing Beatrice gave me this sick ass cross she bought in Venice Beach. Go back to your Satan Mecca, devil. Wait. There's just one last minor detail with which I ought to make you familiar. This shit is the dumbest. If this is what I think it is, it's so bad. It basically ruins the game. Remember that? When that Hashashin stuck that knife in your back? Yeah. You fell down. It can't be. You're dead, Dante. You can't go anywhere. Not a really? soul may leave. Let's rewind a bit. It is forbidden by him. But you were praising me before for having a soul that's blacker than black. Metallica the Black Album. I will reclaim my rightful place in paradise. Will you though? My path will be paved with the sins of man. And yours, Dante, shall be the bedrock of my return. And all that is good shall be gone. From the universe That's so generic. Not yet. I have collected many souls on this pilgrimage. Souls that I have freed uh -huh. from Inferno. And together, they now possess the power to free me. That's convenient. Mother, brothers, absolve me! So, so Dante's dead, yeah, despite the fact that he's not a shade. He's like a human with skin. Ella, he's running it back. Dante, I can reunite you with Beatrice. Together, we will I don't like how lame Satan is here. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Shabamos! Jesus! Send you back to your Leopardon. I wish I could have fought this Satan a bit more. And then the chains of Judeca or J of Genova return on his arms for whatever reason. Because we shot a bunch of souls at him, I guess. You think Satan, the Lord of Hell, would be able to beat up a few souls, but, um... And didn't we send them to heaven? Why am I even slave them into the cross? That's a cool shot. Let's get this Dante butt. And Dante looks a little weird. He looks like Doom Marine a little bit. I got boobies number 15 now. Yeah, now we're in the sands of time. Oh, look, he loves it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do we actually do? We freed Satan, then we beat him up again. I'm not sure if that's a win. Look at them glutes. Love that. And of course the cross is burned into his chest. It's... I don't know why they did this. And now we're in like a level of Bayonetta. And I did not live. So where are you then? Man, Bayonetta is a better Dante's Inferno than Dante's Inferno. 
and then it turns into a snake because that's a Satan. And they put a lot to be continued. No, it won't fucking won't. And that's Dante's Inferno. I hope you enjoyed it because I kind of really didn't. Uh, but hopefully we can all get used to hell like it was a hot tub. Thanks for watching, everybody. On your knees, on your knees, the king of the There is only one.